Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a JavaScript Lambda function using AWS CDK. So there's a couple prerequisites for this video. The first is you need the AWS CLI installed and the second is you need CDK installed. In order to check you just type CDK, you should get a prompt there and if you have the AWS CLI installed, if you type AWS, you should also get a prompt there. So make sure you have those two things installed. I'll leave a video in the description section below where you can learn how to do that. All right, so in order for us to get started, the first thing is you want to have a empty directory. Um, I created one called CDK Lambda. You can see we are currently empty. So the first command that we need to run is to initialize our project. So we'll say CDK init language, and we're gonna use JavaScript. So this is gonna download a whole bunch of dependencies. So often this takes a few minutes, so go grab a coffee and come right back. All right guys, so everything just finished. Let's take a look at some of the project files that were created. Uh, so if we take a look at what's going on here, by the way, the naming is just based on my uh, folder structure. So since it's called CDK Lambda, all this stuff is called you know CDK Lambda here and then appended with stack.js. So I'm just gonna append some of these files here to show you what's going on. First one is just our bin file. If I just minimize this really quick. Um, so this is where you initialize all your stacks. You can create multiple stacks as part of one CDK project. And a stack is just kind of like a, a logical grouping of resources. I'm not going to go too much into depth with that. Uh, in our lib directory, we have CDK Lambda stack definition file. And this is where all the resources are going to be defined. So we're going to create a Lambda function here and we're going to create a S3 bucket here. And they also set you up using a test framework. So CDK Lambda test.js. Uh, these are just some simple tests or just a simple test rather uh, that tests that your um, stack matches a certain template. Um, other than that, just your normal files, you know, you got your package.json file with your normal uh, kind of runtime targets. Um, and then there's also some other interesting files here. If you have more time, take a look uh, like your CDK JSON. Um, there's going to be another file that comes here called tree.json, uh, which is interesting to look at as well once we compile our project. Uh, so that's what we got going on. I'm just going to close all of these out right now because we're not going to need them. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to bring my terminal back up and I want to install some dependencies. So let's just clear this out. I'm just going to drop this command in here. Uh, so we're just running npm install AWS CDK and then the Lambda package. And then we also need the S3 package. So just type this command here uh, and then press enter. Again, this will take a few minutes uh, depending on your internet connection, but I'll fast forward this to make it quicker. All right, guys, so everything finished here. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to create our uh, Lambda handler code. So the actual code that's going to be executed as part of our Lambda function. So this is where all your business logic will be. Um, so what I want to do is just create a quick little folder in order to do that. So I'm just going to click on this guy here. I'm going to type in resources. And then inside your resources folder, I'm just going to create a new file. And for this project, I'm just going to call this lambda.js. Um, keep in mind, we're going to have to reference this file a little bit later in the project. So whatever you name this, uh, keep that in mind at some of the later steps. Okay, so now we're, we need to code up our Lambda function. So I'm just going to drop this in here and show you what's going on. Uh, so the first thing is we're importing the AWS SDK. Then we're using the S3 library. That was one of the things that we just uh, installed. And we are getting the uh, name of our bucket from a environment variable called bucket. That's going to come into play later. I'll explain that. And then we just have our primary uh, Lambda handler here. So we just have a basic function. We're saying entering Lambda. And then uh, we're assigning a variable to data that is going to call the S3 list objects API. And uh, we're giving it bucket name. And then it's going to log all of that uh, just to console here. And if there's any error, if there's anything due to permissions or anything like that, or the bucket name doesn't exist, uh, we're going to throw an exception back to the caller. Um, so that's what this is going to be. Uh, by the way, I'm going to leave all this code in the description section below in a GitHub link. So don't worry about uh, copying it down. Okay, so that's what our lambda.js is going to contain. All right, so the next step is for us to write up the code that is going to create this Lambda function and create this S3 bucket that we're querying as part of this uh, Lambda code here. So what you wanna do is go to your lib folder and you want to create a new file here. And I'm just gonna call this my underscore Lambda dot JS. And in this file, I'm just going to drop this in as well. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. So we are requiring the uh, core library, the Lambda library, and the S3 library here. And we're creating a class called MyLambda, which extends a 
CDK core construct. And then we, uh, inside this constructor here, we're creating a bucket using the s3.bucket command. Uh, we're passing in this and we're gonna call this bucket store. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do here in this handler is we are creating a Lambda function. And we are gonna be using Lambda runtime Node.js 10. And down here, we need to give reference to where the code is gonna be located for this particular Lambda function. Um, so we're saying Lambda code from asset and then the folder that uh, your code is located in. So remember we created the uh, resources folder over here and we named that file lambda.js. Well, if you named yours foobar, you would put in foobar here. And then the actual handler of the, uh, well, the code that is going to be the handler for the Lambda function is in the file called Lambda, which is Lambda. And then the function is called main. And if you look inside our Lambda function, maybe you forgot the function that we are exporting is main. So that's how this is all kind of wired together. Um, and then we are setting a environment variable that's going to be called bucket. Remember in our implementation code, we were referring to that environment variable and it's going to be called the bucket that we are creating. So we're creating a bucket up here and then we are referring to it and then extracting the name out. And then what we're doing down here is we're saying for this bucket, I want to grant read and write permissions to this particular object, which in this case is a Lambda function. So what this is going to do behind the scenes is the the IAM role that is going to be created as part of this Lambda function is going to automatically get read and write permissions to S3. This just shows you how easy it is to set up all these permissions just in a couple lines. You can get everything you need or you can create a function that does all of this stuff for you if you have a more complicated set of permissions that you need. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to adjust the definition file of our stack so that we can create an instance of our my lambda class and then in doing so create all these resources that are within it. So what we want to do is in this case we want to go to the cdk lambda stack.js that's what mine is called in my project depending on your file structure though yours will be named something differently here. Uh, we need to import my lambda. So what you, well, I'm just going to drop this in here actually. So const my lambda is equal to the previous directory lib slash uh, my underscore lambda, which is this file right here. I suppose I can simplify this line a little bit, just get rid of this and do dot slash my lambda, but whatever. Anyways, um, the next step that we want to do is we want to actually initialize an instance of our my lambda file or my lambda class rather. Uh, so what we're going to do is just drop in this line here. So we are creating a new instance of this thing and we are just calling this my lambda. Then we are exporting this lambda stack and this stack is going to be created as part of the bin file here, cdk underscore lambda. And you can see here we are creating a cdk lambda stack. So the way this is all wired together is everything that's in the cdk lambda stack um, gets created whenever this line is run. Uh, so everything that we had previously, which is inside this constructor here, so my lambda is going to be created. And then within my lambda, this is where all the actual resources get created. I'd encourage you to just come here and poke around the file structures. I'll be uploading this to Git so you can kind of take a look at what this all looks like in real life. All right, so up next, we want to finally get to the part where we're using CDK. Uh, so bring up your terminal again. And uh, what we want to do now is we just want to run the command CDK synth, S-Y-N-T-H. And this is going to uh, compile down our code here that's written in CDK into CloudFormation. And CloudFormation is the code that, or it's not really code, it's kind of a templating language that gets uploaded to AWS during the deployment step that goes to AWS CloudFormation service. And then CloudFormation is going to be responsible for creating all of your resources uh, in what is called a CloudFormation stack. So you can see where some of the terminology overlaps here. So when you have a bunch of resources that you're creating, this command does take a little bit. So I'm just going to fast forward this really quick. Actually, while I was talking, this succeeded, which is cool. Uh, so let's take a look at what is happening here. Um, so you can see that like there's a whole, let me make this bigger actually, so it's easier to see more. So let's just scroll to the top um, so we can start from the beginning. Here we go. Uh, so CDK synth, so we're creating uh, my Lambda store, which is an S3 bucket. It's got all these juicy extra auto filled in things here. Uh, we are creating a service role, an IAM role. Uh, this is going to be for our Lambda function. It's going to have the ability to assume roles. And what else does it have? A bunch of stuff here. So it has the basic execution role. Um, and then these are the policies that are associated with it. So S3 get object, S3 get bucket, list, delete, put, abort, yada, yada, yada. This is because we had that line that granted us read and write access. So you can see here, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Here's our Lambda function. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of magic things going on here. But uh, anyways, you should take a look at some of this code here. This will help you understand what's going on behind the scenes. But for our purposes, we don't really need to care beyond that. 
so the next step is actually deploying stuff. So what we need to do is type the command CDK bootstrap. And what this is going to do is create some initial resources in AWS that's going to be needed as part of the CDK deployment process. One of which is an S3 bucket that's going to contain the code that our Lambda function is going to run. So often this takes a few minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward it for you guys. All right, everything finished here, which looks great. Before we discuss the results, one thing that I forgot to mention previously is that you need the correct AWS CLI permissions, or you need to have the right permissions associated with the user that you have configured on your machine uh, so that you can create all these resources. So you need these CloudFormation resources to create stacks. You need to be able to uh, create your buckets. You need to be able to create bucket policies. Uh, so make sure that you have all of these permissions set up. A quick way uh, to do this, if you don't know which permissions you need, is you can just keep on running this command and it's going to tell you which permission it's missing. You can just keep on iterating over and over and over again to figure out the permissions that you need after you add each one in the console. So that's a quick little trick I sometimes use. So just looking at the results here, we can see some of this stuff got created. So this is what is called our staging bucket, which is going to contain all those staging resources. This is just some nonsense that CDK needs, not really worth discussing here. So I'm just going to clear that out now. And our next step is to actually run CDK deploy. And this is going to actually deploy all of our resources now. So that Lambda function that we created, it's going to upload the code to that particular S3 bucket, which was our staging bucket. And then it's going to link that S3 code to our Lambda function so that it's a handler for that Lambda function. So after a few moments, you'll see here that there's a whole bunch of stuff that popped up. So it'll make potentially sensitive changes according to your security level. Uh, please confirm if you intend to make these changes. So what this is telling us is like it's giving us a warning that this is what I'm going to create with what is on your machine right now. So it's going to create, um, well, it's going to, it's referring to this resource here. So it's saying my Lambda handler service role ARN. We're creating the assume role. Uh, we're allowing assume role. Um, and this is the principle. And then same thing down here. So there's some IAM policy changes our IAM statement changes. And we're also making some IAM policy changes. This looks pretty innocent. Uh, I'm just going to type Y down here. And then there's some extra things that are going to happen. It's going to actually go ahead and create that change set in uh, CloudFormation. And then it's going to deploy that change set. So we're going to see in a moment here. Yeah, so you see uh, it's giving us status updates. So review in progress, CloudFormation stack. Uh, it's creating the stack and uh, it's creating it now and there's probably a whole bunch of resources that are firing off. Uh, what you can do is you can go over to your AWS console and you can go to the CloudFormation section because what it is showing you in the console there is just a reflection of what is happening in CloudFormation. So you can see here, create in progress, right? And now we have our stack here, CDK Lambda stack. And if you go to, I believe it's events. Yeah, here we go. Um, so you can see what it's doing here. It's creating all this stuff, my Lambda store, my service, uh, my Lambda, I don't know what that one is. Well, it's probably just a different command. Um, and creating the role. There's a whole bunch of things that are going on here. And this, if we refresh it, yeah, so it's constantly changing. And if uh, you take a look at what we have over here, this is basically a one-for-one -one copy of what's going on. So whatever's happening in your terminal is a reflection of CloudFormation is what I'm trying to say. Um, so this may take a little, little bit here. Um, if this takes too long, I'll fast forward. Uh, actually, my blathering went very long, so uh, this finished while I was discussing it. Perfect. So everything is created now. So what you can go ahead and do is go to, uh, well, we can check out what's going on here uh, in our CloudFormation stack here. And if you go to resources, you can see these are all the things that this CloudFormation stack created. Uh, can I expand this? Yes. So it created a Lambda function and you can see the actual ID of our Lambda function. Everything was appended with the name of our stack name. Remember our stack name was from this file here. I'm going to minimize that. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, CDK Lambda stack. So whatever you name this here, that's what your um, stack is going to be appended with and all the resources are going to be appended with. Uh, so this is the Lambda function. We created a role, which is the IAM role. We created a policy, which is this policy. We also did some linking behind the scenes. And then we also created a bucket. So let's go into Lambda now. I just want to briefly take a look at that and just run that function really quick uh, to make sure everything is working correctly. So here it is, CDK Lambda stack, my Lambda handler. Clicking on that, I'm just going to go down. And let's take a look at the code here in code source. So you can see this is the code that I uploaded or I created using Visual Studio Code and now it's reflected here. And if you have any other dependencies that get created, they'll all be uploaded here as well. 
So we can just click on test really quick, create a test event, that's fine. And what we should see is the um, outputs after you click on test. And yeah, what do we got here? So entering Lambda, you can see we have this nice formatted uh, log line here. And this is the result of the call to S3 list buckets. Um, and you can see this is the name of the bucket. There's nothing in this bucket. There's an empty array of contents. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the playlist on the right for more on infrastructure as code on AWS.